Hey everybody, HG Shaves here. I'm back with another video. Today, I'd like to talk to you about Holy Cow Fougere Mania. The soap was released in the Sierra base uh, a number of months ago, and I'm now just getting a chance to try it for myself. Um, Holy Cow has been around for a while now, and they uh, like to focus on putting well, at least in the uh, animal bases that they have. They like to put in as many ingredients as they can, it seems like. Um, really focusing on uh, poche feeling and just all, you know, all kinds of skin food um, to put into their soap bases. So their newest base, uh, Sierra, uh, that's the one that Fujimania is in, uh, is really fantastic. Uh, prior to that, they uh, had a donkey milk based one and a buffalo based one. Um, so they do have quite a few different number of bases out there. Um, but Sierra is the uh, new thing on the street, so to say. And um, it's really one of the best soap bases out there. I find it to be extremely luxurious um, in every aspect. So um, yeah, happy to be uh, shaving with Fujimania this week. Um, show you what it looks like in the tub here. Um, you can put an indent in it, so it's not too firm. And um, yeah, the scent on this, it is a Fujir as it, uh, as the name would imply. And uh, yeah, I get a pretty soapy, green, lavender kind of top part. And then there is a little bit of maybe musk on the bottom, but I think it's a really balanced scent. And if you like fougeres, um, it, you you could stand to get your nose on this and check it out because in in, in my experience in the wet shaving world, each fougere is slightly different. And um, yeah, this one has been working well for me. And I don't consider myself a huge fougere fan or a fougere expert by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but uh, yeah, nice, nice scent on this one. Um, other things I'm gonna be using in the shave include this Simpsons Chubby 2 synthetic uh, knot, uh, meant to resemble a badger knot by how they dyed the hairs and also just in terms of how they actually pack the hairs in there. I've been really impressed with this brush, um, but I'm not doing a proper review on it today, but um, this is a really nice brush. Um, and then, as always, my car of Christopher Bradley seat plate with a Paul Silver in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my uh, brush here loaded up and then we'll uh, get into a bit of a face lather. All right, started with a little bit more water than I usually do. Um, so we'll see if I'm gonna be able to kind of mix this and get it to come together or if I'm gonna need to go back and add some more soap. So here we go. All right, so that is feeling creamy and dense and all those good adjectives that you'd like in your soap lather here. So first pass with the grain.
All right, first pass done. Um, definitely was deceptively uh, pasty a little bit there. So uh, I'm gonna add in some more water into this uh, second pass lather. So be right back. All right, add a little water to the brush before uh, loading up here for pass number two, and it feels uh, a little bit better. So, as I often say, the first, if you're a face lather, your first pass uh, lather is probably gonna be a little bit thicker than your uh, subsequent passes, and that's often a good thing. Because um, again, you always want the slickness more so than the uh, density of soap. So, here we go into pass number two, cross screen. All right, second pass done. Let's go for a final pass here. Third pass against the green.
All right, after a couple touch-ups there, I think we're good to go. Um, really nice shave today. Yeah, so I'm gonna rinse and then I'll give you some final thoughts. Final thoughts about, holy cow, Fujiomania. Um, well, I think this is a amazing soap base and a pretty good scent if you're into, into Fujiers, of course. But um, at retail price, I believe this is $30 for a four ounce tub. Um, and that price is pretty steep even by US artisan standards. So um, unless you're like a holy cow buff or you know you love Fougères, I would say maybe try and get a, a sample of this from a buddy or pick it up on the used market. Um, that's what I did because the Declaration Grooming Milksteak Base and the, like the Zingari Sego Bases, those both can be picked up for significantly less than the Holy Cow Ciro Base. And I don't feel like the Ciro Base is that much better or even better at all than those bases. I think they're all just very high level, elite, excellent, whatever adjective you'd like to use. So um, yeah, just wanted to throw in a bit about the price there because I know some people do have some qualms with it and I understand that, but um, so yeah, uh, while this is a really nice soap base, um, I consider myself lucky that I picked it up on the used market and didn't have to pay that $30 retail. And that's not even counting shipping. I mean, for them to ship it to you, it's probably five bucks. So you're looking at $35 shipped for a tub of the stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, certainly a nice uh, soap and scent. And um, thank you all for watching as always. Hope you enjoyed this video. And next week, uh, I think there's gonna be just this whole slew of new uh, things for the channel. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, until then, take care, bye-bye.